Shake at the end. Oh, sorry, Flory, I forgot. No, no, it has to come straight at the end of the song. Let's try again. Uh, uh, um. Mind Fimbo, have another go. What it is either, but um, oh, it's getting closer. <laughs> well, I never, it's little Pom. What, Bessie? Oh, what a lovely hat, Pom. If you put it on your head, it'll make you jingle. Jingle? Yes, Pom, because it's a jingly hat. Isn't it? Oh. Can you manage? Oh, ho, 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 of course you can, because you're a clever chuck. <laughs> oh, I love the sound of bells. <laughs> <laughs> Oranges and lemons, say the bells of St. Clemens. I owe you fat farthings, say the bells of St. Martin's. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 
What's all this jingling? It's Pom's jingly hat. <laughs> hey, that's a jingly hat, all right. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> cool, jingle, jingle. Now, who wants to play hide and seek? <gasps> no, not today, precious. Pom, play with you. Cool, <laughs> right, Pom. You go off and hide. I'll come and find you. <laughs> Hunt the thimble. <laughs> One. Two, three. <laughs> Pom, hide. <laughs> Pom, Pom. Coo. Oh, where, oh, where can Pom be? Coo. I can't find her anywhere. Coo. What's that jingling? Coo. It's coming from down there. <laughs> Found you! <laughs> Rocket find Pom! <laughs> well, that was quick. Let's play again. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, <laughs> four. <laughs> Pom, hide again! <laughs> <laughs> now, where is Pom? <laughs> She really has gone this time. Oh, where, oh, where can she be? Cool. That jingling came from behind the flowers. <laughs> Found you. Look oh, at fine pumpkin. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Bessie. Oh, hello, Bessie. Oh, are you still playing hide and seek? Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> I keep finding pumps straight away. I am the Finding Frog. Rocket <laughs> Find Pom. That's right, Pom. I don't usually find you so quickly. <laughs> well, Rocket, that could be something to do with the bells. Now, listen hard and you might hear some more bells. Oh, that looks like someone's dinner. But I can't hear any bells. Still no bells, though. Keep listening. Oh, where's it coming from? Right, Pom. She's got a little bell around her neck, so wherever she goes, people can hear her. <laughs> Have a nice dinner, cat. So, you see, if you wear a bell, everybody can hear you, even if they can't see you. That's right. So, Pom, you could try to stop your bells from ringing. Yes. If you're very, very quiet, then Rocket wouldn't be able to find you so quickly, would he? Hello, Bessie. Hello, no. <laughs> wow, I like your hat, Pom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all jingling. What are you doing? We're playing hide and seek. Great. Can we play too? I like hide and seek. Rocket, why don't you hide with Pom? You might be able to help her keep quiet. Oh, <laughs> right. Come on, Pom. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Pom, hide. Stop it, bells. Yes, Pom. Stop the bells. Fimbo and Flory will hear them. <laughs> no, they're still jingly jingling. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Oh, that's a good idea, Pom. <laughs> it's no good. What are we going to do? How are we going to make them be quiet? No, no. 
Oh, hello there. Hello, Rolly. <laughs> hello, Rolly Bo. Uh, well, well, what a jingly hat. I know, but we can't stop it jingling, and Florrie and Thimbo will hear us. Shush. <laughs> you see, we're trying to hide, and the bells won't be quiet. Oh, I do see. <laughs> a jingly hat that won't be quiet. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think I've got a story about something else that won't be quiet. <laughs> Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Back in a roly moon. <laughs> when you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Boo! Wonderful things. Giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Shh! 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 Oh, here it is. <laughs> Pom, it's story time! Story, story! <laughs> Are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. Then I'll begin. The story is called Molly's New Shoes. <laughs> Molly had new shoes. They were brand new shiny brown shoes. And Molly was wearing them for the first time. What do they feel like, Molly? asked her dad. Mm, they feel a bit stiff, she said. Try walking in them, said Dad. So Molly did. Clump, clump, clump. The shoes were really noisy. Don't worry, Molly, said Dad. New shoes are like that sometimes. You'll get used to them. They went to the park for a walk. Clump, clump, clump. These shoes are really noisy, said Molly. In the park, they met Molly's friend, Marinda, and her dad. The two dads sat on a bench talking. Come and feed the birds with me, said Marinda. They showed Molly a big bag of breadcrumbs and they went over to where some birds were hopping on the grass. Clump, clump, clump. Molly's shoes were so noisy the birds twittered and flew away. Oh, you frightened them, Molly, said Marinda. It wasn't me, it was my noisy shoes, said Molly. Let's try again said Marinda. Marinda went up to the birds, who hadn't gone far away. She started throwing some breadcrumbs to them. Come on, Molly, she said. Clump, clump, clump. The birds flew away again. They didn't like Molly's new shoes. They were far too noisy. Hmm, said Marinda. I've got an idea. Marinda stood next to Molly with breadcrumbs. Stay very still, Molly said Marinda. Don't move your shoes. She stood very, very still. And the birds came close enough to them to eat the breadcrumbs. You can help me now, said Marinda. Help me throw the breadcrumbs. So Molly helped Marinda throw breadcrumbs to the hungry birds, keeping her noisy new shoes very, very still. And that was the story of the two Noisy shoes. <laughs> but they weren't noisy at the end, were they, Roly Bo? No, because Molly kept them very, very still. And so they were very, very quiet. <gasps> Pom stands still. <laughs> well done, Pom. Not a single jingle. <laughs> single jingle. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, let's hide again. <laughs> Pop, hide. <laughs> Don't forget to keep very, very still now. Oh. <gasps> oh. Hello, Rolly. We're looking for Pom and Rocket. We're playing hide and seek. Oh, right oh. Well, uh, they're not here. Hmm, I wonder where they are. Hmm. <laughs> this is a good hiding place, Pom. <laughs> 
spells. <gasps> Palm, stand still. Palm, rocket. I can't see them anywhere, Flory. Mm, no, Fimbo. They must be somewhere else. We did it, Pom. They didn't hear us. <laughs> Pom, stand still. Um, I'm sure I heard something, Flory. Let's listen carefully. No, nothing here, Flory. Come on, let's look somewhere else. <laughs> there, there you are. are. <laughs> we were being very, very still, so you didn't hear the bells. <laughs> no, we didn't hear them. Pom, stand still. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Pom. Oh, oh, Pom, your jingly hat has given me an idea. You jingle, and Fimbo can shimmy shake. And I'll sing! <laughs> jingle jangle, shingle shangle, shimmy shimmy shake! <laughs> Will you help me sing my song? was a very jingly hat. Pom and Rocket, they tried to play hide and seek with it. And what happened? <laughs> That's right, my darling. Rocket kept on finding Pom. Pom tried to make the bells be quiet in lots of different ways, but nothing worked. Those bells just kept on jingling, didn't they? <laughs> but then, Pom was very, very still. And then she was very good at hiding. Fimbo and Flora couldn't find her at all, could they? <laughs> oh, don't worry, love. They found her in the end. Have you got anything jingly? Maybe you like playing hide and seek. Come and find us next time, won't you? Goodbye. Every girl, every boy, come on up and up your eyes. There's a world right here, full of wonder and surprise. Let's go and find the pimples. Pimples, pimples, pimples. We're the pimples. Mm. Lovelies, what are you up to? Hello, Bessie. We're getting ready for a tea party. Party, party. Oh, a party. How exciting. What, um, 
What have you got to eat? Oh, well, lots of lovely things. We've got stick biscuits <laughs> and um, leaf cake <laughs> and uh, this is mud porridge. Mud porridge. Oh, I say, mud porridge, my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 and we've got apples and crackers too. Oh, now that is a good idea. Yes, it is. Would you like to come to our tea party, Bessie? I would love to, Flory. Can my little love come too? Oh, yes. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you can come too. We're going to play games and sing songs. <laughs> I've got a new tea party song. Well then, Ducky, let's hear it. You know me, I love a song. Give us all a treat. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello, hello, would you like to come to tea? There's tea for you and tea for me. Hey! Yes, oh, yes, yes. I, I haven't finished yet, Pom. Oh. I'll start again. <clears throat> hello, hello, would you like to come to tea? There's tea for you and tea for me. Lots to drink and lots to eat. Come for tea, a special treat. Now, Pom. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's great, Rocket. Oh, 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 I can hear somebody else who might like to come to tea. Shall I go and see? Oh, yes, because we've got lots to eat. Bye. Bye. Um, Pom, could you get some more cakes, please? <laughs> no, you can't eat anything yet. Leaves are cakes and sticks are biscuits. Three, four, five. Nice one, Zimbo. You're good at this. Six. Oops. Oh. 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 I'm getting that thimbling feeling. Play some more. Um, what's the matter, Rocket? Oh, look, down by your feet. Huh? Whoa, Rocket, what is that? <laughs> it's a hedgehog. Is it? Oh, yes. Hello, hedgehog. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> uh, um, uh, Rocket? Oh, yes, Fimbo? Rocket, I don't think it is a hedgehog. Oh. Why don't you think it's a hedgehog, Fimbo? Well, because it's pink and sparkly. Hedgehogs aren't pink or sparkly. <laughs> You're right, Fimbo. Hedgehogs are not pink and sparkly. <laughs> so, what is it? Would you like a clue? Oh, yes, yes please. please. That's like what we found. That's right. She's putting it on her head. Is that all right? <laughs> of course it is, Rocket dear. <laughs> it's a wig. You're meant to put them on your head. See, they make you look different. You can use them for dressing up. They're all different colours. I like that one. It's all sparkly. You can have great fun with wigs. <laughs> Oh, 
course, it's a wig. Hey, <laughs> jiggity jig, you found a wig. It's soft <laughs> and pink and sparkly. Ooh, can I put it on, Fimbo? Oh, oh, here we are. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a hedgehog now. <laughs> jiggity jig, look at my wig. <laughs> <laughs> my turn now, Rocket. Um, right, close your eyes. <laughs> no peeping, Rocket. <laughs> you can open your eyes now. <laughs> oh, who are you? Where's, where's Fimbo? Rocket, it's me. Fimbo? Where are you? Right here. Look, it's me wearing the wig. Fimbo? <laughs> you look like a different Fimble, Fimbo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you do. <laughs> I'm going to call you Wimbo. Wimbo, Wimbo, Wimbo. <laughs> are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> yes, I think so. Let's go and show Flory and Pom. <laughs> They'll think you're Rimbo, not Fimbo. Uh, Bessie, do you think Flory will know it's me? Well, you do look different, but uh, maybe you need to do something different. <laughs> I know. You could make your voice different too. Oh, yes, I could. <coughs> Hello, Rocket. Pleased to meet you. My name is Rinda. <laughs> Come on, let's go, Fim. I mean, Rimbo. <laughs> My name is Rinda. <laughs> oh, look, crackers. I'm so hungry. Oh, go and tell Flory someone special is coming to tea. Oh, are they? Uh, who's that, Fimbo? Me, silly. Well, no, not me. <coughs> Rimbo. <laughs> <laughs> No more. Cool. Hello there. Cool. That looks good. Hello, Rocket. Are you coming to our tea party? Oh, yes, please, Flory. Um, can I bring a special friend too? Who's that, Rocket? Um, he's a very, 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 very special friend. <laughs> oh, a very, 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 very special friend. <laughs> What's his name? He's called Finn... Uh, no, he's called Rimbo. Yes, he's called Rimbo. Um, he's waiting over here. Come and see. Oh! <laughs> I'm coming too. <coughs> hello. Um, hello. Oh, here's my special friend, Rimbo. Hello, I'm Flory. And this is Pom. Say hello, Pom. I'm shy. <laughs> Would you like to come to our tea party? Oh, yes, please. <coughs> What's for tea? Oh, well, uh, stick biscuits, leaf cakes, mud porridge. Mud porridge? Oh, yummy, yum, yum. Mud porridge. Oh, and apples and crackers. Uh, crackers? Great. I'm hungry. Let's go. Oh, would you like to hear my song first? Oh, OK. Uh, then can we eat some crackers? Uh, uh, uh. Hello, hello, would you like to come to tea? There's tea for you and tea for me, lots to drink and lots to eat, come for tea, a special treat. Hello, hello, yes, I'd like to come to tea, especially if there's lots for me, lots to drink and lots to eat. Oh, yes, please. No. Um, <coughs> let's eat something. Are you a pair of pom? Oh, yes. A game. A game. Can we play a game, Flory? Can we? Can we? <laughs> yes, we can, Rocket. <laughs> what shall we play? Uh, shh. Toto. Toto. Oh, tip 
tiptoe time. Good idea, Pom. Let's play tiptoe time. Come on, a Rimbo. OK, but I'm getting very, very hungry. Oh, I love this game. A oh, Rimbo, you can be the leader. You stay there. Oh, all right. Uh, it's not fair. I'm really hungry. I want to eat a cracker now. Everyone line up over here, please. Okay. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> now, um, who can I see moving? Um, nobody. Oh, for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's moving? <laughs> oh, smelly jelly. I'm out. <laughs> oh, bad luck. I just want everyone to hurry up. <laughs> oh, good. They're nearly here. <laughs> Oh, 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 well done, Pomet. You've got me. Uh, your turn now. Oh, Pom got Rimbo. Ready? <laughs> Cracker time. What's he doing? Uh, um, uh, Rimbo, what are you doing? Oh, um, uh, uh, I needed something uh, to eat. Oh. oh, hello there, everyone. <laughs> What's for tea? Oh, hello, Roly. Hello, Roly. Oh, Roly, this is Rimbo. He's come for tea, too. Oh, hello there, uh, Rimbo. <laughs> Do you like stories? Oh, yes, yes Roly. Let's have a story. <laughs> then we can have tea. Uh, yes, uh, tea. Story, story. Oh, right oh. Uh, back in a Roly Mo. <laughs> <laughs> When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo, boo. Wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a fimble or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Are you sitting comfortably? Oh, yes. yes. Then I'll begin. This story is called Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a little girl and everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother said, I've made some buns for your grandma. Will you take them to her? A visit to grandma was always exciting because she would sometimes play tricks on her granddaughter. So off dashed Little Red Riding Hood. In the forest, two friendly rabbits ran in front of her, but suddenly they vanished. And there was Wolf, hanging upside down in a tree. Oh, Wolf, she said, you scared those rabbits. Ho, 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 grinned the Wolf. He enjoyed scaring rabbits. What have you got in your basket? Buns for Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. Not for you. And she went on her way. When she reached Grandma's cottage, she stepped inside. Granny, where are you? I'm in bed, came the gruff reply. That doesn't sound like Grandma, thought Little Red Riding Hood. She went into the bedroom. Your eyes look very large today, Grandma, she said. All the better to see you with, my dear. And your nose, it's very large too. All the better to smell those lovely buns you've brought me. Grandma, your mouth is huge too. All the better to eat. Eat what? said Little Red Riding Hood. Just then the door was flung wide open. It was Grandma and she was laughing. Grandma pulled back the curtains. The wolf sat up. He was dressed in Grandma's best nightdress and cap. <laughs> and he was laughing. Now, he said, may I have one of those buns? <laughs> So Grandma, Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf had the buns for tea. Roly, 
Do you think the wolf was wearing a wig when he was pretending to be Grandma? <laughs> yes, Flory. I think he was. Hmm. I must be off. Um, it must be tea time now. Um, do you want to try the mud porridge first? Uh, no, thank you. What about a stick biscuit? No, oh, I really want a cracker. <laughs> oh, sorry, Rimbo, but I'm saving those for Fimbo. They're his favourite. Yes, they are. But I <laughs> am Fimbo. But Fimbo doesn't have pink hair. No. Oh, it is me. I'm wearing a wig. A pink wig. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Wig. <laughs> wiggy, wiggy, wig, wig. <laughs> um, Flory, can I please have a cracker now? Oh, of course you can, Fimbo. Or do I mean Rimbo? <laughs> Fimbo, Rimbo, Rimbo, Fimbo. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Where have all the crackers gone? <laughs> Frogs like crumble crackers too, Fimbo. Rocket! Rocket. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yum, yum. <laughs> Look, Pom got wig wig. Fimble's had a busy day today. Who found the pink wig first? <laughs> That's right. It was Fimble, weren't it? Fimble found something pink and sparkly. <laughs> Rocket thought it were a hedgehog. <laughs> but what was it really? That's right, you clever little fluffy love. Yes, it was a wig. Put it on and pretended to be Rimbo. <laughs> Can you remember the song they sang? Yes, that's right. Hello, hello. Would you like to come to tea? There's tea for you and tea for me. Lots to drink and lots to eat. Come for tea, a special treat. <laughs> Maybe you can find something to dress up in and make you look different too. Come and find us next time, won't you? I must fly. Goodbye. <laughs>